Recursion Pharmaceuticals, trading under the ticker RXRX, closed the last trading session on Wednesday, October 15th at $6.79, marking a significant surge of $0.90, or 15.28%. Now, on the surface, a 15% jump in a biotech stock is hardly unheard of. This is a sector known for its volatility. The immediate expectation for anyone watching this on their Robinhood app or SoFi Invest platform is that the company must have dropped a major press release, a positive clinical trial result, a new patent, or an FDA approval. That's the standard playbook. But the reality of what propelled recursion higher is far more subtle and, frankly, more compelling for anyone serious about this investment. This wasn't a move driven by a single flashy headline. Instead, a deeper look at the trading data, the kind of order flow analysis that professional traders on platforms like interactive brokers live and breathe, suggests this was a calculated accumulation by institutional players. The volume on this move was nearly triple the three-month average, but it wasn't a panic buy at the opening bell. It was a steady, methodical absorption of shares throughout the day, indicating a quiet but profound shift in sentiment about the company's core value proposition. The common belief about recursion has always been that it's a binary bet on the future of artificial intelligence in drug discovery. You either believe their AI-powered recursion OS can fundamentally change how we find new medicines, or you see it as another cash-burning biotech with a compelling story but no approved products. It's viewed as a lottery ticket. People who are comfortable with high-risk assets, perhaps the same people who trade Tesla stock for its volatility, see RXRX as a similar play in the pharma space. The expectation is that you buy it, hold it, and hope for a single breakthrough that sends the stock soaring. But challenging that perspective is essential right now. The reality is that the market is beginning to value recursion not as a portfolio of long-shot drug candidates, but as a technology platform with tangible near-term value. This is a critical distinction. The recent investment and collaboration with NVIDIA stock titan NVIDIA, for example, wasn't just a capital injection. It was a massive technological validation from the undisputed leader in accelerated computing. Big pharma partners like Roche and Bayer aren't just placing bets. They are integrating Recursion's platform into their own research and development pipelines. This transforms the company from a simple high-risk biotech into a high-growth tech company that happens to operate in the pharmaceutical space. The game is no longer just about hitting a home run with one drug. It's about getting on base consistently by providing a valuable service to the entire industry. Let's break down the recent price action further. That 15.28% move didn't happen in a vacuum. Looking at the intraday chart from yesterday, the stock gapped up slightly at the open, but then established a firm upward trend for the entire session. There were no major pullbacks, which tells us that sellers were virtually non-existent and buyers were willing to pay higher and higher prices to build their positions. This isn't the pattern of retail FOMO. It's the pattern of controlled institutional buying. The volume signature confirms this. Over 30 million shares changed hands, compared to a daily average closer to 10 million. When you see volume like that underpinning a price move, it lends a tremendous amount of credibility to the rally. For those managing their own portfolios through a Fidelity brokerage account or a similar individual brokerage, this is a key signal to watch. It separates fleeting news-driven pops from potentially sustainable new uptrends. This wasn't just day traders on Robinhood stock trading platforms jumping on a momentum play. The size and consistency of the buy orders suggest a re-rating is underway by larger funds, the kind that might allocate capital through services like Fidelity Wealth Management. This move also comes at a time when the broader biotech sector, as represented by ETFs like the XBI, has been trying to carve out a bottom after years of underperformance. The macroeconomic environment, dominated by high interest rates, has been brutal for pre-revenue companies. When the cost of capital is high, the present value of future uncertain profits gets heavily discounted.
However, with recent inflation data showing signs of cooling, there's a growing whisper in the market that the Federal Reserve may have reached the end of its tightening cycle. Any pivot or even a prolonged pause in interest rates would act like a gravitational lift for the entire biotech space. Capital would flow back into growth sectors, and companies like Recursion, which are heavily reliant on external funding to finance their operations, would benefit disproportionately. So, while the company-specific story is strong, it's being amplified by a potential macro tailwind. It's a powerful combination that many investors who are just focused focused on the day-to-day -day news cycle of Apple stock might be missing. For anyone looking for investment help or considering online investing, understanding this interplay between company specifics and macro trends is crucial. Services like Schwab Intelligent Portfolios are built on these principles of diversification and market awareness. But for self-investing in individual names, you have to do this analysis yourself. So, what does Recursion actually do? At its core, Recursion is a technology company using machine learning and AI to decode biology. The company has built a massive automated experimental robotics platform that runs millions of biological experiments every week. It uses automated microscopes and computer vision to analyze how human cells react to thousands of different chemical compounds. This process generates an enormous proprietary proprietary dataset. We're talking petabytes of complex biological images and information. Their machine learning models then sift through this data to identify relationships between diseases, genes, and potential drugs that would be impossible for humans to find. This is their Recursion OS. It's designed to make drug discovery faster, cheaper, and more likely to succeed. Their business model is twofold. First, they use their platform to discover and develop their own pipeline of drugs for rare diseases and oncology. Second, and perhaps more importantly in the near term, they partner with pharmaceutical giants, allowing them to use the Recursion OS for their own discovery programs in exchange for upfront payments, milestone fees, and future royalties. This hybrid model provides them with non-dilutive funding and validates their technology in the eyes of the industry. Their recent financial reports show that while they are still burning cash, a reality for any clinical stage biotech, their burn rate is well managed, and their balance sheet was significantly strengthened by the NVIDIA investment. The expectation is for losses, but the reality is a company with a multi-year cash runway, insulating it from the immediate need to raise capital in a difficult market. Looking ahead, the future for recursion is laden with both immense opportunities and significant risks. The primary catalyst, as with any biotech, will be clinical data. The company has several programs advancing through early-stage human trials. A positive data readout from any one of these could serve as the ultimate validation of their entire platform, likely causing a substantial repricing of the stock. Another key catalyst is the expansion of their partnerships. If Roche or Bayer decides to advance a drug candidate discovered using the Recursion OS into later-stage clinical trials, it would be a massive vote of confidence. The continued integration with NVIDIA, developing new foundation models for biology, also presents a long-term catalyst that is difficult to quantify but is incredibly powerful. On the flip side, the risks are just as stark. A clinical trial failure, especially in one of their lead programs, would be a major setback and would cast doubt on the platform's predictive power. The competitive landscape is also heating up, with other companies trying to apply AI to drug discovery. And finally, if the macroeconomic environment sours again and interest rates move higher, it will create headwinds for the entire sector, regardless of Recursion's individual progress. For investors using investing sites to make decisions, weighing this balance of risk and reward is the central task. An automated solution like a SoFi robo-advisor might not allocate to such a high volatility name, but for those engaged in SoFi active investing or using a sophisticated fidelity trading platform, recursion represents a calculated risk with a potentially outsized reward. Given the massive cash injections from partners like NVIDIA, do you think Recursion has enough runway to get a drug to market without further dilution? Comment your thoughts below.
In conclusion, the 15% surge in recursion stock is a signal that should not be ignored. The market's expectation was likely for a simple, news-driven event, a common occurrence in the volatile world of biotech. The reality, however, points to something much more fundamental, a deliberate and sustained accumulation of shares by institutional investors who are not betting on a single drug, but on the long-term disruptive power of Recursion's AI-driven technology platform. This is a shift from viewing the company as a speculative biotech to valuing it as a category-defining technology company attacking the pharmaceutical industry. The validation from partnerships with Roche and the deep integration with NVIDIA provides a layer of credibility that sets it apart from its peers. While the path forward is filled with the inherent risks of clinical trials and market volatility, the evidence suggests that the smart capital is no longer waiting for a lottery ticket to pay